Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. In this video, we will be looking for the step by step process of the assembly of this vertical reduction gear system. And we are going to see how we can apply different kinds of mate so that we are going to get the perfect simulation. For the parts, you can visit our website. I am going to provide the link in the description. And from there, you can download the parts and you can also do the assembly with me. So let's just get started. So now we are going to start the fresh assembly page. So for I'm going to click on this new and then I'm going to click on the assembly. Just make it OK. And now we are on the fresh page. To insert the component, we are going to click on this insert component section. And from here you have to browse for the parts. And you can see that I have saved every parts in a folder, including the previously created assembly also. From here, the first thing that we are going to import is the housing. This is the base on which the gears are attached. So I'm going to click on this housing, just make it open. And this will going to be imported in your assembly page. Now the next task is to assemble the gear and the shaft. So I'm going to click on this insert component again, and then just click on this browse and then we have the gears. You can see that we have this output gear and output shaft and I have the input shaft attached with the gear. So the complete assembly is there and you can just click on this input shaft, just make it open and you can see that this is the input shaft that we are going to assemble in this hole over here. So how to make it? For that I'm going to click on this mate that is for creating the mate components. Then I'm going to select this face over here, this face, and then I'm going to select this face and you can see that it is it has been attached, but we want this part to be inside. So I'm going for this mate alignment option and I'm going to change the alignment and you can see that it, be, it is being aligned like this. Just make it okay. And now you can see that if I'm going to move this component, its movement is very much constrained. It will only going to move in a certain direction you can see that because uh, the faces are aligned now now to attach this gear to this box i'm going to go for the meta gain then just go for this option this face over here which is this one and the, and the inside face like this and you can see that these two are attached just move it and you can see that now the only motion you will get is the rotation because every other motion is constrained. Now for the output shaft, we are going to import the gear first. Mate, gear and shaft, we can import both of them by pressing the control button and selecting both the part at once. Just make it open and you can see that these two parts are open. The first thing is imported is gear and then the shaft. Now I'm going to assemble uh, these two together first and then after once we have get once we get the assembly we are going to attach it to the housing. So I'm going to make it again I'm going for the mate. I'm going to select this one and this face and you can see that it is aligned like this. We want this shaft to be on the other side. So this part will be in this direction first attach this mate so this is the key and the hole so i'm going to align this hole first so just click on this face and this face and then i'm going to click on this face and this face just make it okay and you can see that now the gears and the gear and the shaft is aligned with the key aligned together like this you can insert a key later on but now we are going to assemble this complete assembly of this output shaft into the housing. So I'm going for the mate again. I'm going to select this alignment, sorry, this face and this face to make them align. And then I'm going to use the gears. Uh, we want this gear to be in the same alignment. So I'm going to select the outer face of this gear and this face of this gear. And you can see that it has been aligned. Then just rotate this one so that the tooths are properly fit together like this. 
now it will not going to rotate we have to apply the gear mate so for that i am going for the mate again and in the mate we are going to select the mechanical mate section and in the mechanical bit you can see that we have the gears and in the gear we are going to select the faces first so what faces that you have to select you can select the shaft like this face and this face of the shaft click on this face face over here click on this face over here and you can see that these two shafts are together now you have to provide the gear joint so it depends upon the gear ratio sorry so for the teeth gear ratio you can provide the number of teeth so i'm going to provide this one as 40 it is previously calculated so this is 20 now make it okay and now you can see that we have got the gear joint ready if you are going to rotate this you can see that the gear is rotated okay so we have i think we have provided the long wrong values or the opposite values so we have to edit the gear mate again so just click on this gear mate edit it just make this one as 20 and this one as 40 just make it okay and now you can see that the gears are perfectly aligned and they are perfectly rotating together simultaneously since that shaft are attached you can see that the shaft is also rotating but the work is not over since we have got uh, this in the design but in practically we know that there are bearings that should be attached so that we get a perfect rotation so we have the bearing so just click on this insert component browse it and you can see that we have this assembly bearing just make it okay and this is what we have got and we want the two copies so i'm going to press and hold the control button and i'm going to click on the bearing drag it and you can see that we have got the other copy ready now one bearing will going to be attached over here so i'm going to click on this mate i'm going to select this one and this face and then i'm going to select this face over here and this face over here you can see that the bearing is aligned just make it okay and this is how you will get the bearing attached to the main components similarly we want one bearing in this section so for the bearing i'm going to okay we required four bearings so we are going to create one more and one more two more copies and one bearing will going to be attached over here so just go for the mate select this one and this one just and then select this face and this face now the bearing will going to be attached like this we have to attach one bearing over this shaft also so i'm going to click on this face and this face you can see that now these two are aligned just make it okay and now again we have to select this face and this face you can see that it has been aligned like this so three bearings are attached now it's time for the last one we have to attach this to this outer shaft inside uh, in the housing so i'm going to click on this mate just select this part and this part just make it okay and then just select this one and this face you can see that now all the bearings are in their position we have got almost complete assembly but now it's time for the housing cover so i'm going to insert the housing cover and this is the housing cover just make it op open and now you have to align this one you can see that this part should be inside so i'm going to rotate this just click on this rotate rotate it like this now to attach this one we are going to use again the same mate component and we are going to mate it with the shafts just select this face and this face they are aligned now here 
you have to do one more alignment and that is the alignment for these holes so i'm going to click on this face of the hole and this face of the hole and you can see that they are aligned now the shaft and now the housing will be a housing will not going to move so if i'm going to rotate or move this housing you can see that now the housing is perfectly attached if you are not going to align the holes then it will going to rotate uh, on the on its axis like this now we have to attach this to the faces so select this made component again select uh, this face and this face and you can see that it is attached like this so we have applied the cover but we have two more cover and that is for the bearings so i'm going for the insert component again select this browse and if we have this bearing cover also so i'm going to click on this open this part and then i'm going to create the copy using the same combination of control and clicks again we are going to do the same process of mating this inside face and this outer face of the bearing and then we are going to align the holes also so i'm going to click on this hole uh, over here and over here and then i'm going to select this face and this face you can see that the bearings are now attached now we have got the complete assembly now it's time to attach the fasteners which is nut bolts uh, bolts over here so for that i'm going to use the design library click on this design library click on this toolbox add the toolbox let me just make this over here we want the iso i want a screw of the you can say that the hexa bolt select this and all the holes are of m10 size so what you can do you can do one more thing if this can be done so you can just drag and drop it on this hole only and it will going to be perfectly made you can see that this is how flexible solid works is it will going to attach the nut directly uh, sorry bolt directly uh, to this holes over here let's make it okay and we have got this alignment now it's a very tedious task to attach bolts in every other holes we can do one more thing we can again use the copy command which is press and hold the control button drag the nut and you can see that it will going to create a copy but we are going to align it with the hole so drag over the hole and it will automatically going to attach with the hole creating the mates also you can see that the coincident mate is created which is 131 which is between this housing and the bolt similarly you can again drag it and you can just place it on the other hole and you can see that it will automatically going to attach the bolts to the hole like this similarly we are going to attach the bolts to the housing also it's different here you can see that you have to change the direction of the bolts also so here you have to align the holes that so that the bolts and this holes are like this and then just again press the drag and drop copy and you can just hover around the bolts of this bearing housing and you can see that it is going to be aligned So now the complete assembly is ready. Now we can just change the transparency of this housing to see the inside part. So I'm going to click on this one. Just change the transparency and you can see that now it has been transparent. You can move it and you can see that it is creating the motion. Now to create the motion study, you have to just go for this motion study over here. We are going to simply add a random motor. So I'm going to click on this motor 
and then I'm going to select this component which is this face and you can see that the motor is attached to this part just change the RPM if you want just make it okay in the first step it is basically reading the data so from the next step onwards you will get a good motion like this so this is how you can create the complete assembly of vertical reduction gear system if you want a complete parts you can as i have told you you can visit our website the link is provided and if you want a full comprehensive course on solidworks you can check out our udemy program online course program where you will get a comprehensive course on solidworks part modeling assembly simulation sheet metal and many more